up. Pacheco sidesteps a tackle. Cuts 15, 10, 5. Freaking touchdown, dude. Blown up. Fumble. Pitch back to Brian Cook. And Brian Cook's going to freaking house it, dude. He's going to house it. Oh, my God. He's got plenty of time. Fires. Back in the end zone. Touchdown. Bro, what the freak did I just watch? And this is why you don't doubt Patrick Mahomes. He's going to waltz in. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Friday Night Q&A Hangout. My birthday just so happens to fall on a Friday, so we'll talk Chiefs and celebrate the birthday. Come on, why not? 33 years old. Um, let's go. Got another year under the belt. One more year under the belt. Just had a birthday dinner, and uh, I actually had, for my birthday dinner, a Tank 7. It was the first drop of alcohol I have had in about four months. Had to have a Tank 7 on my birthday with a burger. Um, it was great. <laughs> it was absolutely fantastic. Had to do it. Had to do it. Daniel Akers coming in hot with the gifted. Appreciate you, man. Dez with the 18 months. Are you live streaming any of the draft? Yeah, I'll probably stream uh, night one and night two, which I think night one is round one. Night two is rounds two and three. So definitely will uh, stream during those. We're actually prepping. Uh, we're prepping some stream graphics. I don't think I have any of them over here. Yeah, we're prepping some stream, uh, stream dra graphics and just trying to get everything ready. And um, yeah, we're going to have like when a player gets drafted, we're going to have a graphic pop up that's full screen and uh, you'll be able to see like some of their stats and stuff like that. So um, we've been working on that and just trying to get ready because really the draft is in, what is it? It's not next week, but the week after maybe. So yeah, we've been trying to get trying to get that ready. I thought I had one maybe downloaded. I'll just throw it up in the throw it up in here so you can kind of see just like a, a rough mock-up of what we've been doing. But maybe I won't find one fast enough for it to matter. Oh yeah. So this is a joke. Okay. <laughs> this is obviously not how you spell Malik neighbors, but I thought it was hilarious for the test. I just realized my mic was super quiet. I just wanted for the test to uh, <laughs> to spell it neighbors like that. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, um, this isn't any of his real stats either. But um, when somebody gets drafted on draft night, you will see, uh, we'll have a graphic like that pop up. And then it'll be something like this where, let me see if I can, yeah, I can't do it right now. But yeah, we're working on stream graphics is all that I'm saying. And um, excited for the draft. Appreciate all the birthday wishes. I see all the happy birthdays in there. Appreciate you guys. Um, I don't know how to, like, I don't know how to handle birthdays because I'm not, the, I'm not, even though I stream and you see my face when I do my videos and stuff, I don't really care to have the attention on me like that. So I've been getting texts and calls and messages and, um, yeah, I'm just grateful for another year of life. And um, I'm excited for what 33, 33 holds. So I appreciate you guys, man. Harris, thanks so much for the 10 bomb and the birthday wishes. Brand with the 18 months said cheers to the red birthday legend. Here's to another. Let's freaking go, Brand. Appreciate you as always, man. Brenda with the 19 months. Happy birthday, Cole, and many more. Heck yeah. Only 33. That's pretty young. Daryl with the 11 months. Hey, how about those Chiefs? What's up, dude? Thanks so much for the 11 months, man. Mandy with the gifted as well. Appreciate that. Princess Kenny in the house said he's going to house it. <laughs> you already know. Hopefully my audio is okay. The stream's current bit rate is lower than the recommended. I think my audio quality is fine and my video quality is fine. Should be. Pavri, thank you. Thank you, Bob. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, man. Let's go. Conway, you ready for the New Heights Live? Yeah, I saw clips of it. When does it actually drop? When does it actually drop um, so we could see it? Anybody know? When does it drop? Jacob, thank you, man. 30s are awesome. Happy birthday. Yeah, I'm trying to get like my back and knee better and stuff, but uh, I, so I certainly liked my 20s as far as my body is concerned, but like my mind and um, just grow. Like, I feel like I spent my 20s trying to figure out what I wanted to do. 
and maybe that's what a lot of people do. But by the time I started this YouTube channel, like I already had photography and videography under my belt and some other stuff. I spent like all of my 20s basically trying to uh, figure it out. And I, I'm just, I, don't, I don't have it all figured out now. I'm not there. I haven't arrived, but I have a better idea of the direction that I'm going, you know. Uh, what do you think of the rice crap? Yeah, I mean, I've done a few videos on it, and I just touched on the update earlier, Daryl. Um, there's a video I dropped earlier today. I, I mean, I kind of said I wish I didn't have to talk about the rice situation at all. It's uh, pretty unfortunate he messed up, and he's going to have to pay the consequences for that. I don't think he's going to get eight felonies. I think it's going to get pled down to probably a couple misdemeanors. Um, he will more than likely face some sort of a suspension from the league. I don't know how long, um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty unfortunate, you know, definitely. I'm glad, like, nobody got seriously hurt. I mean, I think there's a lady that has some stitches and is kind of messed up, but I think everybody else is pretty much okay. Uh, Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Kyle with the five. Let's go, dude. I think your birthday was somewhat recently, right? I could be completely wrong, but I thought it was somewhat recently. Hope you had an amazing day. Thank you, man. Yeah, we're going to celebrate with the family tomorrow. We worked on a lot of content today, so I did not get a chance to really do much. We had a birthday dinner up there, but we're having, a, we're having family over tomorrow. I might go buy a bike, an e-bike. Fancy. An e-bike tomorrow. I'm going to go try it out. I'm going to go ride it. I'm going to go try it out. We tested some last weekend. Dude, e-bike sounds posh, but it's freaking crazy. The pedal-assisted e-bike. I was riding one last week. I was going uphill. Listen, I was going uphill 22 miles an hour. It was insane. I know you're supposed to be careful on them, and I will be, but like the pedal assist is nuts. Yeah, the sucker, those suckers are fast. Yeah, I won't, I won't always have it up to turbo like that, uh, but I wanted to test it, and it was nuts. Chaos with the five. Happy birthday, Cole. Thank you, man. With Bryce getting uh, sus you must mean rice, right? With Bryce, rice getting suspended or jailed. Uh, how much do you think it affects our chances of getting the three peat? Um, I don't think he'll go to jail. I, I mean, I'm not a lawyer. We'll see, but I think he he has a couple misdemeanors. Probably has to do some sort of driving class, community service, pay a bunch of fines to all the victims. Like he's probably not making any money. His rookie deal is probably all gone. Um, I don't know that it affects the three peat. I wonder if it affects how the Chiefs draft, though. I don't I don't think so. Like, they need a, a receiver early. And, guys, you will be proud of me. I've been spending time on prospects. I've spent hours and hours this week studying mainly round one and getting into round two receivers. Um, so I studied um, for hours on A.D. Mitchell, Xavier Worthy, Brian Thomas Jr., Lad McConkey, and Keon Coleman. I have a video on all five of them dropping on Monday. So for those of you who love the draft and know that I don't really start studying any of it until April, I can talk some some wide receiver stuff with you guys now. Um, just really those five. I've probably spent a couple hours on each one of those guys. Um, and then I have notes that I've started on some others that are going to potentially be going later. Then round one, round two. So we've started the notes, and the draft talk is here. Yeah, I have some notes on, like, Jermaine Burton, a little bit on Johnny Wilson, Troy Franklin, Xavier Leggett, uh, Roman Wilson, got a little bit on Malik Washington, Jalen McMillan, and then uh, Ricky Pearsall. I've liked what I've seen from him. I got Jalen Polk, Malachi Corley as well. Um, that's... Those are some later guys that I haven't dug into as much, but we have started the talk, um, the research on them. Chiefs Kingdom with the 15 months. Thank you, man. Have an awesome birthday, Cole. Appreciate that. Hope 33 is the best yet. That's the hope, man. Every year, is uh, that's the goal, right? But that is definitely the hope for this year. Ron with the 12 months. Happy birthday, Cole. Mine's on the 27th. Shout out to April birthdays. Let's go, dude. With the five bomb as well. Thank you, Ron. Holding it down for the 314. Let's go. Hey, Cole, uh, what should I be doing looking into the draft? I mean, basically what I do, I'm a visual guy. Reading is not my favorite thing, even though I read every day for this job to prep stuff and notes for the scripts. Um, but I like podcasts, so I've probably listened slash watched probably four to five podcasts on the receiver group 
Um, I've listened to Underdogs. I've listened to that franchise guy. I've listened to uh, Football Analysis. I've listened to um, a couple others as well. But then I have KCSN's draft guide, uh, Dane Brugler's draft guide, and then I've wa- there's another podcast, the Athletic Podcast as well. Um, I've listened to that. And I just take notes and a lot of those guys have film when they're talking about them. So then I go and watch all their highlights. I go watch them myself and just try to take it in because it's one thing for people to just tell you what they feel about a player. And the reason why I listen to a lot of podcasts is just because I'm, I'm a fan. So like, I'm not an expert and out an analyst or anything like that, but I will watch the film as well. I try to take from it what I can. And then I go to those who really study for a living um, and kind of glean from them as well. Andrew with the two. Who do you like most out of those guys? Oh, yeah, we can get to that for sure. Thanks so much for the two, man. We'll get to that. Cole, who was the uh, who was the draft wide receiver media? Wait, wait, wait. What? Who was the draft wide receiver media started connecting him for the Chiefs? I don't know what you mean, Harris. Can you reword that and let me know? Tony with the five. Happy birthday. From Tony and Jesse, thank you so much, man. How about a shout-out to Jesse? Shout-out to Jesse, the better half. Let's freaking go. That's what I say about my wife, so has to be true, right? PJ with the two months. Glad to see Tony at practice. Yeah, Tony is in Texas. He's in Texas training with the guys. Hope he's learned his lesson. Do you think uh, he could make the roster this year? Yeah. And then happy birthday. Thank you, PJ. Uh, And Jeanette, thanks so much for the two. I think Tony can make the roster. The Chiefs don't really have any incentives to cut Tony. If you cut Tony, it's $2.5 million dead cap. You save no money. I think they're motivated for him to to really compete. And I think Tony is motivated. It's his contract year. Yeah, it's his contract year. So I think he would be motivated. I think he would be motivated. Yo, urinating tree in the house, yelling Rachel. Everybody's yelling Rachel. 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 Somebody's got to do it because Tom's like in, I don't even know where Tom is. Tom's on vacation. Tom Grassi like in a hot tub thing, but there's like a ocean behind him. He's sipping on wine. I was like, what is this man up to? Living the life. Let's go. Brenda with the 33 bomb for the 33 years of life. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, Yeah, very generous of you, Brenda. Thank you. Urinating Tree, hope you're having a fantastic day, man. Thanks for the happy birthday wishes. As well. Tom's in the upside down. See, I don't even know what that means. Australia? Like, what's that? What's upside down? (laughs) Um, Andrew, to answer your question, who do I like most out of those five? Talking Brian Thomas Jr., Xavier Worthy, uh, A.D. Mitchell, Lad McConkey, and Keon Coleman. I mean, I definitely like uh, Brian Thomas Jr. I mean, if the Chiefs can somehow figure out a way to get that guy without having to, you know, go way up, like if he falls to the late teens, bordering on 20-ish, and the Chiefs can go get him. I really like him just from what I've seen, like deep threat, great ball tracking skills, and that is something the Chiefs need. Like they have some guys that are quick, and Marquise Brown will be able to do some of that too, Hollywood. But like last year, they had MVS, he was fast. But they don't have like guys that were great at tracking the ball, and Brian Thomas Jr. is actually insane. And – um He's still getting better. His route tree is not even at its peak, in my opinion. So uh, Brian Thomas Jr., like a 4-3-3, 40 speed, a little bit bigger guy. And uh, I just like what I've seen from him a lot. You know, if if you didn't have neighbors, um, Marvin Harrison Jr. and Adunze, like those three are kind of in a, an insane tier of their own. But Brian Thomas Jr. is like right after that. So it's the only reason why Brian Thomas Jr. would potentially be available for the Chiefs, which I think for him to be available, like the Chiefs would actually have to trade up. So I'm not saying he's going to fall to 32. I don't, I don't think there's any way. But the only reason why he's even within um, a ch- for the Chiefs to have a chance of getting him is because of those other three receivers and how good they are. So I like Brian Thomas Jr., but if you want to talk about outside of those or outside of him, I see a ton of dono bombs coming in. I am going to get there. Appreciate you guys. Holy smokes. Um, I like Lad McConkey. He really is a solid route technician, man. His route running is insane. 
I saw him house a couple um, plays that he should not have housed. Like, he is shifty. Route running is top-notch, great against man or zone, very QB friendly. He does struggle with the injuries um, last year, at least, with the, I think it was the back and the ankle. Uh, of course, I like Worthy's speed. I think I would prefer A.D. Mitchell over Worthy and possibly over Ladd. I'm just not sure, like, if the Chiefs stay put at 32, I don't know if A.D. Mitchell will be there or not. But um, outside of Mitchell's inconsistencies at times, because last year he had 10 games where he had three receptions or less. That's kind of freaking wild. But then he has some highlights that are just like, whoa, this dude is insane. Um, you know, great hands, very few drops in college. So great hands. Outside of that, he's above average, like at a lot. So route running, he's fast. I, I do like what I've seen from A.D. Mitchell. If I had to choose between him and Brian Thomas Jr., I'm going with Brian Thomas Jr. Uh, but I do like A.D. as well. He would be... He would be solid, too. It would be a good situation, the Chiefs would, for A.D. Mitchell because you still have Kelsey, you have Marquise Brown, and you have uh, Rashi. He wouldn't have to come into the Chiefs system and just instantly like be the guy. He can spend a little bit of time developing, and I think it would be really good for him. So that's kind of my thoughts on some of those guys. I, I don't mind Keon Coleman. He's a weird prospect. Like He, he comes up with these crazy 50-50 balls, former basketball background, like, I like it. He, I think he could potentially be, like, a nice, not like Juju Smith-Schuster per se, but maybe a Juju light in the middle of the field offsetting Travis Kelsey. But obviously he can go up and get the ball as well. Some of these one-handed leaps are absolutely insane. Um, yeah, Keon Coleman is very interesting. He just, I feel like the Chiefs would be reaching a little bit to take him in round one, but he's probably potentially not going to be available at the end of round two, so I could see why they do it. Uh, yeah, they used... I don't understand. Um, I can't remember what college he went to off the top of my head right now. It was Florida State. I, I'm, I don't watch college ball, so when I'm studying these guys, the colleges don't matter as much to me, even though I understand there's context there depending on the conference they play in and like like all that stuff, I get it. Um, but he did, he did return punts, average 12 points, 12 yards a return. He returned like 25 punts. Um, but they used him a lot in the screen game. He had like 20 screens last year. And it doesn't make any sense because he's not like the shiftiest guy in the world, even though he averaged 6.3 yards per, um, or yards after the catch, rather, on those screens. Um, so yeah, Keon's interesting. I like him. But if I had to choose between him and the other four, I'm going to roll with one of those other four personally. Okay, let me catch up because you guys have been going insane. Rachel with the two bomb. Hope your birthday is as glorious as your beard. Thanks so much for the kind words. Sean Peterson, who sent a crazy Jackstack gift card to me today. Dude, I appreciate you. Thank you. Happy birthday, buddy. Hope you get your birthday wish. Yeah, my birthday wish is a three-peat. I want, I want the Chiefs to win three in a row for my birthday. That's all I ask for. No, you know, no big deal. Going to work on Xavier or Xavier Leggett here soon. Brenda, you beat me to it. Hey, let's go. Yeah, I'm going to start studying those guys uh, for a video next week as well. Or, yeah, probably late late next week, I'll drop another wide receiver video. And I might do an offensive tackle video as well, just because the two biggest needs early in the draft for the Chiefs is going to be tackle most likely and wide receiver. Um, so, yeah. Heck yeah, man. Song with the 33, 33 for 33. Happy birthday. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Appreciate that. Jennifer with the 20 bomb. Thank you so much. MT with the 10. Happy birthday, Cole. Get another 33. Let's freaking go. Dude, I just want a three-peat for the 33 year. I mean, it's meant to be. 3-3. Three, three, Chiefs get the three-peat. Like, come on now. That's It's my third year covering a team full-time on YouTube. I mean... If, it, if that's not meant to be, my third year on YouTube, I turned 33 and the Chiefs are chasing a three-peat, I don't know what is meant to be if that's not. So come on now. Come on now. Darren with the 13 months. Happy birthday, Cole. You do an outstanding job. Thanks so much, man. I mean, not perfect. I try my best, um, but trying to get better every day. Trying to get better every day. Thank you so much. Desi with the one month. Cole, me and my girlfriend wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Hey, let's go. I also wanted to know what the wide receiver room is looking like at the moment. Go Chiefs. 
Well, Destiny, thanks so much for the kind words, the happy birthday wishes uh, from you and your girlfriend. Appreciate that. Um, wide receiver room at the moment. I mean, you have Rushy. You've got Marquise Brown. Those are going to be your solid ones. And then you obviously you have Travis Kelsey, who's a tight end, I know. But those are going to be like your three main. Uh, Travis Kelsey, Rushy, and Marquise Brown. The big question mark for Rushy, obviously, is his suspension. Is he getting suspended this year? How long? When? We might not know that. Outside of that, you've got Kadarius Toney, Sky Moore, Justin Watson. Justin Watson will probably make the roster. He'll probably be a starter. Sky, don't know what to make of him going into year three. Tony, don't know what to make of him going into year four. Not with the Chiefs, but year four of his rookie deal. So it's a contract year for him. I'm just not sure. They have a bunch of other guys. Obviously, they have Nico Remigio. Sneaky. He was doing really good in training camp before he got hurt. The uh, We call him the Filipino phenom. Nico Remigio. So remember that name and watch out for him. You've got uh, former Bears receiver Anthony Miller. You've got some other guys, but that's just the room at the moment. They're going to add at least one receiver in the draft and maybe even another veteran after the draft. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw an announcement that said the Chiefs signed McCall Hardman to a one-year deal that's borderline vet minimum. Not because I'm like, oh, yeah, it has to be McCall Hardman. I just think he makes sense. He knows the, the playbook. The Chiefs know what they get out of McColl. He got the speed. He could use him behind the line of scrimmage. Obviously, he needs to work on the fumbles that he struggled with in the postseason. He can return punts, kicks, um, and then just valuable depth. So wouldn't be surprised to see uh, McColl Hardman return, perhaps. Um, and then one or two receivers in the draft as well. Essence with the 10. Thank you. Happy birthday, Cole. Keep being positive and a great influence on the YouTube space. Your channel is set apart from so many and content is in its own league. Essence with the freaking gas. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're trying. Trying out here. I troll less these days. I don't know if it's just because I don't have time for the trolls or I've grown soft. I don't think I've grown soft because I'll still troll people, just not at the not at the rate I used to. I try to spend more time focused on the, the people who are showing me support because that's what I appreciate the most. Uh, football productions with the two. Happy birthday, Cole. Thanks for all the Chiefs news. Heck yeah, man. Thanks for being here. Chiefs Kingdom with the 10.33 bomb. Let's go. You're a 10. Happy 33rd birthday from the 913. Let's 3 Pete. Dude, I'm a 10. Let's go. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you for the kind words. If you haven't gone soft on Twitter, nah. I mean, I still troll less on Twitter. I do troll people, but I just don't have the energy. I don't have the energy to, to respond back and forth with people. I'll normally say my piece one time and just kind of let it go. I am more sassy or more fiery, feisty, sarcastic, etc. on Twitter. Like, you have limited characters. I don't have time. I will say if it's a Chiefs fan, um, I have been trying to extend a little more grace just because it's Chiefs Kingdom. So I try to keep that in, in perspective as well. If it's a fan from another team, though, and they're being stupid, I have way less patience. Cole still handing out the badger milk on social. Hey, we had a good one. <laughs> we had a good ratio the other day. That was uh, one of those cover one Bills guys always tweeting the dumbest stuff I've ever seen. And uh, Justin Reed commented on it. And so I responded as well as about the, the solar eclipse or whatever it was. I didn't go outside to see it. I'm sorry. I just told them there was a bad view from Buffalo because the moon missed and went wide right. <laughs> so had to had to throw in a wide right joke in there. Had to do it. Two rings in 13 seconds. That was fantastic, man. Yeah, that was an elite elite response by Justin Reed. He was on one. He was he was responding to a few different people yesterday or two days ago. You help me find Chiefs bids? That's dangerous. Mandy, let's go. Shout out to Chiefs bids. Oh, I actually have something to open from Chiefs bids from Greg, and it's a, it's just, it's the birthday opening. I got to get it. Thanks for the reminder. It's right here. Uh, yeah, it's actually, it's actually three things. You can see Casey's head right here. 
Easy. <laughs> I've got three things to open. I will in a bit. Um, IRZ won't start. Oh, yeah. Um, LRZ rather. I, it looks like an that must. It's just not a capital L. Yeah. Uh, Louis. Uh, Louis Reese Zamet. Um. Yeah, I don't know that he would start. He did say in a podcast recently he's has a plan to to work on kick returns, and that's where he's hoping he can earn the starting role is as the as a special teamer. And then he kind of said, "I know they also want me to know the offense and learn it. It's going to take a lot of work, and I need to be patient with myself." But he's enjoying the learning process, basically. The what is this? The moon was shaped like a zero in Buffalo for the rings they have. And there was a ring around it. Oh, God bless. Yeah, very true. What's up, Lucas? How many times do you think Brandon Perno will bring up uh, the Rice incident throughout the season? I have no idea. That's a good question. He'll probably, I mean, he, he likes to joke. He'll bring it up for sure. Thanks, Matt, for the birthday wishes. Cole, do you think that the Chiefs will sign uh, Michael Thomas? Yeah, he's still a free agent. How old is he now? He's in his 30s. Kevin, happy birthday, Cole. Enjoy your day and remember winning the Super Bowl is a great present from the Chiefs. That's facts. Thank you, man. Let's see. Ballooned. Let's go, dude. Appreciate you. I enjoy seeing your tweets too, man. Boris, thank you. Or Browse, rather. My bad. Julia, what up? Night Hunter said, Cole, you old dog. Hey, 33. It's not old. Even though. Oh no, where's my cutter? 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 Oh, it's gonna be harder to open these gifts if I or these uh Chiefs bids packages without a cutter. I have a bottle opener. This will have to do. Oh yeah. This is definitely a jersey. So, Cole, uh, are we going to react to some Chiefs games? Oh, heck yeah. You already know. I'm going to react to all of them. I'm going to react to all of them. Marcus with the two months. Appreciate it, man. What's up, dude? 33 for the 3P. It is written. Let's. Go. I hope so, man. Dude, if that happens, that's how you know the script writers are insane. Best YouTube channel and community out there. Only channel I pay for a subscription for. Dude, thank you, man. Y'all help keep me pushing. Thank you, member for two months now. Many, many more to come. Dude, Marcus, let me know. Um, shoot me another DM. Let me know how things are going. Please. Okay. We've got a couple jerseys. Or no, maybe it's just one, but it's it felt like two. No, it is two. What is happening? Okay. No, okay, let's go, dude. We've got a white Creed Humphrey jersey. White Creed Humphrey. I like that a lot. Creed. Let's go, dude. Creed is good. And then a white Charles Aminahue jersey. Fantastic as well. It just looks like nine. It's not Juju Smith-Schuster. O-M-E. O-M-E is right there. Dude, let's go. You got Creed. You got Aminahue. Then I got a box over here. It's probably a football. Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Was I you can KC? No, that was a joke. <laughs> I think all Chief Dub said he was in Overland Park. <laughs> they were trolling. Cole, has Perna sent you a bag of the F the Refs coffee yet? No, he hasn't. I need I just need to buy some. Bro, this is way harder to open. I ha I normally have a razor in my drawer. Like a like a box cutter. Oh, here we go. Nice jersey? Yeah, a Minihue and Creed Humphrey. How can you say no to that? Yeah, is Creed signed? Oh, no. Like, has he reached an extension? No. He has not. Okay, it's a football. It's a football. Signed by who? Let's see. This looks like, it looks like Dwayne Bow. 
Dwayne Bow? I think it is. Let me see what the sticker says. Yeah, Dwayne Bow. Nice, dude. Bro, imagine... That's fire. Thank you, Greg. Greg sent these over. Imagine D prime Dwayne Bow catching passes from Patrick Mahomes. He was just 15-ish years too late. Too early, rather. Borth. What the heck does that mean? What does that mean? Borth? Are you kidding up Bannister Mall on a romantic night stroll down Independence Ave? Dude, imagine. That's how you know he'd be lost. Are any of the jerseys on the wall signed? Uh, yes. Uh, they're all signed. I mean, that sounds like a flex. But, like, most most of this stuff is from Chiefs Bids, and most of it's been from the community. Um, people sending it in, mystery boxes to open up on stream. So, yeah, they're all signed. Travis Kelsey, Nick Bolton, Tony, Neil Smith, Christian Okoye, Pacheco. What does Borth mean? What am I missing? You went on a trip to Kansas City and the skyline was beautiful? Oh, heck yeah, cringy. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks for the five, though, Alexander, even though I don't know what that means. Uh, it's probably a draft name or something that I should know. FLDB with the 18 months said, happy birthday, dude. Thanks so much, man. 18 months, let's go. Hey, bro, you think Rice is going to get suspended? Um, Yeah, I don't think he's going to get suspended the whole season. Wait. KN equals Borth? Was there another typo? Did Justin Justin Reed do it again? Is that what happened? Yeah, because KN, that was funny. I'm now going to Justin's Twitter trying to figure it out. Yeah, somebody let me know. Thanks for the two, Sean. No, I was just teasing. Oh, okay. I was like, what happened? Cole, when do new emojis come out? Ooh, we'll do some after the draft. And as we get ready for the season, we'll have some emojis come out for like Hollywood, some of the new draft picks. And uh, don't worry, we'll get them ready. We will definitely get them ready. KN equals Borth. Saw a picture of Christian and he looks like he could play for the Chiefs. Christian Okoye? Like now? You think he could still play? Borth is just a funny way to spell birth. Now? Okay. I'm like, did I typo something? I'm like paranoid. Is it my thumbnail? No, birthday stream. Okay, I'm all good. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Oh, what about an emoji for 87? That's a good idea. I think we have something. I think we should have something. I think. Hollywood one would be nice. Yeah, we definitely got two. Alexander, thanks for the two bomb. Jude with the one month. Let's go. What is the best idea for the Chiefs in the draft? I mean, just depends. If you're just talking specifically round one or just early, I mean, either a wide receiver or a tackle, but it kind of depends on how the board falls. If the Chiefs aren't in love with the receivers that have already gone off the board or the tackles, they could go for another position group that they have a true round one grade on. Could be like a cornerback, an interior lineman, like an interior D-line, a defensive tackle, a guard, um, and then opt to take one like an offensive tackle or a wide receiver in round two. The reason why they could do that is because the draft is super deep with tackles and wide receivers. So um, the skill gap from the end of round one to the end of round two might not be that much at all, depending on who's left, depending on how the board falls. So, yeah, it's it's kind of tough to predict what's going to happen, but those are some a couple si scenarios, situations that could play out. Brett Holloway with a 10 bomb said, happy birthday, dude, let's go. Aaron Jacobson with the 16 months. Happy birthday, fool. You're the best. No, you're the best. Dude, I have I have a lot of... I mean, it's not like that much, but I definitely have like texts and some calls and some other stuff that I, I need to hit people back. But I was busy working today trying to put out content because it's Friday, trying to take the weekend off. So um, 
We put out a U well, we've got a YouTube short ready for tomorrow. We got an ad approved for a video next week. We dropped a news update today, and then we had the live stream tonight. So it was a good day. Then I took my youngest out. Um, I took my youngest out for coffee. She got a donut. I got coffee, and then I took her to the park. So here's, this is Livy. Every week I've been trying to take one of my daughters out and just spend some time with them uh, on like a Thursday morning. So I took Livy out and then uh, she was super proud as she climbed up on this rope thing. <laughs> it's a little Park and Lee Summit. And then here's uh, here's the dog and how she sleeps. Explain this. She's she's not using her dog bed. She's just putting her back leg on the dog bed. <laughs> what is that? That's hilarious. Yo, Sean with the 10. Dude, appreciate that, man. Heading out for the night. Rachel is restless. Rachel, she sent a birthday message in Discord. Thank you for everything you do for the community. Enjoy your weekend. Man, thanks so much for the Jack Stack um, gift card, the well wishes for the draft help, or the dono bombs. Appreciate you, dude. We'll... we'll uh, We'll connect soon because, yeah, I want to take a look at the the stuff you've been making recently for all the the drafts, um, like draft projections from all the different uh, all the different main sites. Heck, yeah, man. Chiefs Kingdom with the two. You think the Chiefs will trade up for Worthy? I mean, they might not have to trade up for Worthy. He has a second-round grade by a lot of people. Um, he might fall to them at 32. You know, you might potentially – have to trade up for him. I don't know that the Chiefs will. Um, but I don't mind Worthy. 5'11", 165 pounds. He needs to bulk up a little bit. But uh, you like that speed. Andrew with the two. Ayuk trade rumors. Steelers have resurfaced. I saw that today. That the Steelers have had internal conversations about potentially trading for Ayuk. I did see that. Russell Wilson. How much help does that guy need? Super Bowl prediction? Uh, too early. But you want early. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's go. Let's go Chiefs, Texans, AFC Championship. And then let's go. Hmm. For the NFC, who's going there? I don't want to say the 49ers. I think the 49ers are probably back in the conference championship again. Would it be the Lions again? I mean, what team in the NFC has really made big moves? Like, I think it would just... I, the Lions and 49ers come to mind. That's your AFC-NFC championship. You think Packers? Niners and Packers. Ooh, and Packers, Packers. Eagles. Lions, okay, a lot of people are saying Packers. Holy smokes. All right, Packers, Lions, NFC Championship. And it's uh, Chiefs, Packers, Super Bowl. Is that what's going on? HBTC, Grassy Posse battle. <laughs> I thought about the Falcons, Pavry, but I just don't know. Kirk Cousins has had, what, two playoff wins in his career? That's not much. Yeah, I, I the Vikings came to mind too. Just a lot of unknowns because they need to um, draft a QB. Yo, what's up, Jude? You made me a Chiefs fan last season. Ooh, let's go! Heck yeah! You think Stroud will have a bit of a sophomore slump? Yeah, very well could. But they also loaded up. They got some really good pieces around them. Oh, uh, what happened to our sixth rounder? Uh, it was the sixth rounder. Was it um, Keandre Coburn? Uh, where did he end up? I don't know where he is right now. He's on another team. Tua turned the ball over. Owns Mahomes? I guess he didn't watch the wild card game. Brand with the five. Five gifted? Let's go, dude. Appreciate that. Borth in the house. Yo, I got some. I got a gifted to gift. I got gifted to gift. 
Here's some. Let's go. Need for Sneed? X. Need for Creed? Check. Yo, thanks thanks for the birthday wishes, uh, Jamie. Appreciate it. I got gifteds to gift. That's right, I just did. Five of them. The NFL has a full year's tape on Stroud. You expect a bit of a setback? Yeah. They, they got weapons now, too, though. More. So I'll be intrigued to see. Just made it to the stream? Yeah, it's my birthday, Kelly. Let's go. Appreciate that. Robert in the house, been listening since the beginning. Man, that beard is getting long. Oh, I, I try to trim it every now and again. Russell Wilson is a weird, a weirdo maybe. He's an odd guy, that's for sure. Cole, are you ready for Levis to be the new Josh? <laughs> oh, gosh. Is he going to be the next one? What does that even mean? The new Josh Allen in what regard? Like the new rival to Mahomes or what? Brand said bowling tonight per usual, but listening in. Brand, you got to let us know your scores. Let us know your scores, man. I want to know how you do. We're all invested now. Brand, come on, fill us in. Destiny with the two said I'm late. Happy birthday. Hey, I was late to my own stream, so you guys are allowed to be as late as you need to be. I just appreciate those of you who hop in and say happy birthday and hello. So thank you so much for the two bomb. Bola 300. That's right. Come on, man. Steelers country. Let's ride. I like Mike Tomlin. I don't know what to make of the Steelers this year, but I like them. Eloise, thank you so much. Said happy birthday. The real view in the house said, thank you for your contributions to the Chiefs and keeping us updated on our favorite team. Heck yeah, man. I mean, it is my job, but it's like, I love to do it. I did it way before it was my job. I did it before, you know, I was making any money on here. So, heck yeah. I mean, I was watching before, even be way before YouTube. I was born and raised in Kansas City and grew up a Chiefs fan. So, yeah, we need another cornerback. Yeah, I think the Chiefs would draft a defensive back. Um, I don't know when. It could be early. I've seen some mocks. I'm not there on cornerbacks. So, I don't know a lot of them. But I, I have watched a couple like top 10 corner uh, videos. I like Kool-Aid because of his name. But Dejean is another one. Is it Cooper? He's another intriguing guy. Dog said, did you gift me? I, I might have. I gifted five just a few minutes ago. Kobe. Thanks so much for the birthday wishes, bro. Appreciate that. Happy birthday, Cole. Says JG. Appreciate that. Also, with Rice's issues, do you think the Chiefs draft two receivers? I think if we do take two, I think Johnny Wilson and whoever is the best left. Ooh. I got a little bit of notes on Johnny Wilson. That's the guy that is like, could almost be a tight end, but he runs routes well enough that you're like, well, it's like a receiver, but he's built like a tight end, 6'6", 240. I mean, geez. Very unique movement due to his size and his long strides help him pull away from guys. Um, size also makes it difficult for corners to press him on the line and his 35 inch arms. Good God. He could jump off a building and fly away on top of his six foot six frame. He's got a 37 inch vert so he can go up and get it. couple like interesting things. He's got a career drop rate of over 12%. Pretty high. That's, that's a little high. And then uh, contested catch percentage, just 40% last year. And that's just, just below average. It's not too bad. I do like Wilson. He's he's interesting. Big bodied guy. Can I get a ooh, yeah? For sure, man. Jonathan Glenn with a two. The guy that people hype only to be disappointed. Um shoot, who? I talked about so many people already. Also, Casey Houston. Oh, the guy okay. Okay. Levis to to be hyped only to the people hype only to be disappointed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm following. I'm following. Also, KC Houston and Baltimore being the new big AFC three incoming. Ah, uh, I can see it. I mean, KC. I mean, the Ravens were right there last year too, so I see that they finished second in the AFC. 
Why are we keeping Tony? I mean, he's under contract with the team. $2.5 million cap hit, $2.5 million dead cap. Um, you save nothing by getting rid of him. And there's still a lot of offseason left, I would imagine. He's a chief, but could trade that guy. I don't think they would get much out of him. Uh, and He could not make the roster. Like The Chiefs could be like, look, Tony, you got to come in and earn the roster spot. I don't think he, like, I think he's talented enough. He's going to make the roster. Question is, how many games is he going to play? He should be motivated. It's his contract year. So he should be motivated. Brand said, I'm not that good at bowling. No, we need the 300, Brand. We got to get the 300. Bills are, in fact, screwed. Yeah, they're in a bit of a refresh. Yeah, something like that. It's your mom's birthday? Let's go. Tell your mom happy birthday. It's a good day. The main issues with Tony is just who do they have that's better? Yeah, I mean, I think you draft one or two and then you sign another free agent and then it will uh, make that room a little more competitive, yes. Troy Kuhn in the house. Let's go, dude. Appreciate you. Yeah, Bills gave everyone up. They had to cut a bunch on defense to get under the cap, and then, yeah, they traded away Diggs, and they ate a bunch of dead money, too, on the Diggs trade. You think they'll incorporate the tush push into the playbook this year? We're talking about the Chiefs with Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz said in his introductory presser with the media they have not talked about it, but he also has converted 86% of QB sneaks in his career and was 9 for 10 in 2021, I think, with the Colts. 2022. See, so it was Colts, Commanders, Rams. So it's 2021. I mean, they should at least consider it because they're not going to run a QB sneak with Patrick Mahomes. Loves me some bowling talk. I run a bowling alley. Justin, let's go. Well, Brand bowls every week, dude. He bowls every week. Every Friday. Let's see. They have enough people better than Tony than they can cut him. Otherwise, no reason not to keep him. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's so talented. He'll probably be one of the most talented guys on the roster. I just... My my concerns with Tony, it's not talent. His talent, it's there. But it's health and the ability to play on the field. I mean, he missed half the season due to injury, said he wasn't hurt, and then he was a healthy scratch for the Super Bowl. So I don't know what's up with that, dude. I just don't know. Did you hear somebody say Justin Tucker? You did not. You did not hear that, but... There's still some of those ghosts of Justin Tucker banging a 60-year-old, 60-yard uh, field goal over the, off the uh, crossbar and through. To be <laughs> Got you. Yeah, I think McColl will be back maybe after the draft. Could be before the draft, but maybe after. I, I'm not going to – I wouldn't put money on a McColl return, but I think he has a good chance of being back. Ghost of Justin. Yeah, availability is the best ability for Tony. Yeah, 100%. Because he could be the one of the most talented guys in the wide receiver room. But what does that matter if you play six games? Not much. Mitchell, thank you, man. Said loves uh, love the videos. Thank you, bro. How <laughs> are the Christmas John shirts coming? I did send it to Brand Destiny, and I said, hey, we got to get some Christmas John shirts. I feel like we should get them printed before Christmas just for fun. For any of you who are wondering what the heck is Christmas, John, somebody somebody sent like a voice to text. I think it was a super chat about Chris Jones, but it said Christmas, John. So Chris Jones is now Christmas, John. It's pretty freaking funny. Yeah, I showed it to Brand and said we should adapt this design and get some Christmas John shirts made. <laughs> I think it'd be fantastic. Mm. Let's see. Sneed punched the football out. The Chiefs defense will get a touchdown or a touchback against who? The Titans? Ah. Mm. Uh. Sneed with the Titans now, man. 
We're going to do it. Limited run. Yeah, we got to. Christmas John shirts. Yeah, we definitely have to do that, man. Blessed you and your family. Thank you, Kia. Appreciate that. And there's some bowling fools in here. Didn't realize it was so popular. Dude, I suck at bowling. Flowers, they flowers. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the AFC Championship? Yeah, Sneed's not here this year, but that was an excellent play. Balloon said, I don't see who gifted me. Thank you. Yeah, shout out to whoever gifted Balloon. Let's go. Borth, you made three cherry cheesecakes today? Gary, I got to try some, dude. I mean, you made three? Getting ready for the three-peat. Heck yeah. Chanel and Pinnell knocked balls out of the hands, too. Um, Chanel, he blocked the field goal, and then Pinnell forced a fumble, but I can't remember what games. Maybe that was both. Was that all in the Super Bowl? Maybe that was. Maybe so. Robert Van Ness with the $5 super sticker. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Can we see your dog? Yeah, I could try. Let me see if my phone will... Sometimes I can switch my, let me see, will this work? Uh-oh. Well, maybe not. I try to turn my iPhone on. iPhone? Do you want to turn on? No? <laughs> okay. Darn. Yeah, sometimes I can switch to my iPhone and show you guys the pup. It's not letting me, though. Kung Fu Wombat with the Tin Bomb. Let's go. Christmas John, CEO of Sock Notion. Happy birthday and best wishes to you and yours. That's fantastic, man. Thanks so much for the tin and the, uh, the kind words. CEO of Sock Notion. Thundercleese in the house. Hey, yo, the real Thundercleese24 in the hoodie. Holla at me if you're in York, Pennsylvania, working tonight. Cole, thanks for the coffee. Good stuff. Dude, heck yeah. Glad you enjoyed the coffee. Appreciate the five bomb and the shout out as always. In the hoodie. Let's go. Kelly with the 20 bomb. Thank you so much. She said, love celebrating the Chiefs with you all year long. Heck yeah. Happy birthday to you and another fabulous year to come. Celebrating my own 49th this Sunday. Kelly. Shout out to the April birthday gang. You love to see it. Happy early birthday, and thank you for the uh, kind words and the birthday wishes. Marcus with the gifted, my man. Appreciate it, bro. Heck yeah. Oh, what's your 2024-2025 Chiefs record prediction? Um, I want to see the order, but they're probably going to win around 12 games. That's what they do about every year. With Mahomes, I think they were 11 and 6 last year, which was a low for Mahomes, but it didn't matter. They won the Super Bowl. So, huh? Do you think Chris Jones' numbers will drop now that he has his contract? I mean, the contract year is basically undefeated. We'll have to see. I'm sure he'll still have a great year. Question is what's that D line room look like without a Minihue? which Ominihue was suspended for six weeks last year, and they did well. It should be fine. Holy old man, yeet, with the 100 bomb. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, bro. He said, hey, what it do, legend? Happy birthday, Cole. Have a good weekend celebrating with friends in the fam. You the goat. Dude, no, you're the freaking goat with the 100 bomb. Dude, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're going to have like a, a small birthday get together with like my mom, uh, uncle, and a couple other people. They're all coming over tomorrow having a birthday dinner. So, heck yeah, appreciate that. And uh, thanks so much for the 100 bomb. I'm excited to watch the Chiefs get ready to run it back for a third time in a row. Let's go. Ophelia said, Big Dog Cole, what up? What up? You would send 100 if you had it. Oh, you're all good, Destiny. No worries at all. No worries at all. I just appreciate you guys being here, and you've already given some super chats tonight, so no worries. Um, Thundercleese is back with another five bomb. Happy birthday, Cole. I'm super bummed about Rice, man. Yeah. He and his crew were probably high as giraffe ears since they bounced the scene. <laughs> high as giraffe ears? Yeah, I mean, people basically are saying it's speculation, but hey, if you flee the scene like that, I mean... 
Rice knew he wasn't going to get away with it, right? Surely he didn't think so. The car was in his name, and he rented the Lambo. But yeah, the thought is, well, maybe they had something they didn't want to be found, or maybe they wouldn't have passed a sobriety test. It is speculation, but yeah, people are like, well, why else are you going to run? <laughs> I mean, he left a playbook in his car. A playbook? Come on. All good, Jamie. No worries. Watching from St. Pete, Florida. Happy birthday, Cole. Enjoy tomorrow, Robert. Thank you, man. All the way from the Florida, the Florida. Yeah, and then walking away from the scene. Yeah, that's also not good. Even having a legit shot at a repeat or a three-peat is something to be proud of. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Only nine. I think a back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins have only been done, what, nine times? By seven teams total. I think. Whew. Sorry for the yawn. What if Rice put his dad's name on it on the car? Uh, well, he didn't. Unless his dad has the same exact name, but he's not a junior. Rice isn't, so. Yo, Jeff with the 20 bomb. Thanks, man. Happy birthday, Cole. In the world of fantasy, which would you prefer? Draft a future Pro Bowl left tackle or draft a future Pro Bowl wide receiver at pick 32? Um, shoot. I mean, if you could get the wide receiver, or sorry, the, no, not the wide receiver. If you could get the Pro Bowl left tackle to protect the blind side of Patrick Mahomes, uh, I'm going with the blind side protector, man. Patrick Mahomes has kind of shown that he can make it work with less in the wide receiver room. I'm not saying that we use last year as like a, oh yeah, let's just keep Mahomes pissed and yelling at refs and, and all that stuff. No, I think you upgrade the room, but if you had to choose, I'm going with the left tackle. Got it. If you're not protecting Mahomes and Mahomes goes down, then it's all the whole ship sinks. I mean, not the whole ship, but like with no Mahomes, that makes it really, really tough. So we're definitely rolling with uh, the left tackle. <laughs> Flip. But Cole, even if Mahomes has all day to throw the ball, we need wide receivers that can catch. No, I mean, the answer is not necessarily one or the other because they need to upgrade both. But if I had to choose one right now, Pro Bowl left tackle or wide receiver at pick 32, I'm rolling with the, the left tackle. We need a franchise left tackle. I don't know who's going to be there at 32, and I don't know that that will be the franchise left tackle, but it was a hypothetical It was a hypothetical question. Thanks, Jeff, for the 20 bomb, man. Let's go. Yo, go KC forever with the 10. Happy birthday, and it's nice seeing Mike Dana is back. Thanks for putting awesome videos uh, out. Keep up the good work. Dude, thank you, man. Heck yeah. Yeah, Mike Dana is back. His contract details were released today. It's basically a two-year, two $15 million deal. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Cole, what is your advice for someone trying to find their way in this crazy world? Mm. Um, just seek out truth. Figure out what that truth is to you. And um, don't, let, don't let anybody take that away from you. I think we've kind of distorted what truth is in this day and age, day and age because truth can be whatever you feel like it is. Well, truth isn't a feeling. It's a fact. <laughs> so you've got to find your truth. Yo, Brew, said I've been watching you for years and you're a cool guy. Well, dude, I'm glad you think so. Let's go, man. I'm, I appreciate the support. Cole, okay, I read that. I read that. Let's see. What will happen with Kadarius Tony? I mean, he'll probably get a fair shake at making the roster and contributing. You can't join because the link is expired. No, what link? The Discord link's expired? No, it's not expired. I just checked it. It's working. It's definitely working. Cole spitting facts on his birthday? Let's go, dude. If I hold this water bottle up and tell you it's a water bottle, and you say, well, I feel... I feel like it's a candle. I mean, no, it's not a candle. <laughs> It's just not. Birthday is April 13th. Happy birthday tomorrow. 
KT's going to have to step up once we suspend Rice for four games. God bless. Yeah, I don't love that. But a suspension is probably coming. I don't know uh, what amount of a suspension, but probably coming. It's not water. It's either gin or vodka. Dude, if you imagine a half gallon in that. Oh, my gosh. Yo, thank you, Epic. Appreciate it, man. Troy Kuhn said, Cole, at what age do you start noticing a difference with your body as far as aging for me or as far as aging for me as 27? I'm not saying I feel old, but starting noticing changes. Yeah, about 25 is when my surgery started. I trained in Taekwondo and could do anything until about then. I was I could do a front flip off of a roof, a back flip off of a wall. I could yeah, I could do all, all kinds of stuff. And started just slowly going down from there. The water bottle should be Winer's Tears. No, I got that right here. We got the Niner's Tears right here. It's not going to focus on it, but it's Niner's Tears from Chateau. Chateau Milk. <laughs> I hope so, Go KC Forever. I hope that's what he does. Allie said, I remember me always thinking Cole was 21 until I actually became a fan of the channel and joined a Tuesday night. Dude, if I was 21 and bald with this beard, that would be impressive. 21, I looked like a wee little lad. Where's the Bills tears? We don't have those. I got Eagles tears. And then we got Niners tears. Let's see. What do you think will happen to the rugby star this year? Asked Kobe. I mean, he'll get a fair shot at um, he'll get a fair shot at returning kicks, but we'll have to just kind of see. We'll see if he makes the roster. Uh, if not, he's got a, a spot on the practice squad, 17th spot for the international guy, and he won't detract from the other 16 spots. So that's a real likely scenario. He slow cooks on the practice squad this year, but we'll see. Some people think I'm crazy for saying that. They're like, he's he's making the roster. It's a lock. Oh, I'm like, oh, I don't know. He's never played NFL. He's never played football before. <laughs> so I just don't know. It's like a huge question mark. Um, I think just the most practical route is he's on the practice squad and uh, cooks for a year. He's, he signed a three-year deal, guys. He didn't, doesn't have to go insane this year, which if he does, great. Um, it's not impossible. I won't rule it out. I'm not going to be the guy to be like, that will never happen in a million years. That's not me. I just think the most likely route is he's on the practice squad this year. Nathan Cole. Told you I was going to start my podcast. Got it started. My second episode airs tonight at 10 o'clock. Dude, let's go. Good. That's what I say. Start it. That's, all you, that's what you got to do. Just start it. Let's see. Dave said, between rodeo as a kid and 15 years of getting chewed on by dogs for a living, 34 is when it kicked my butt. You got chewed on by dogs? What kind of profession are you? were you in? Are you a dog catcher? Grinji said, I played in New York for your high school championship. You got a TD off a jet sweep? Okay. That's actually fire. Song said, I'm looking forward to LRZ during preseason. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to see him in preseason. Mm-hmm. Is it possible for him to be poached from the practice squad? I don't actually know the answer to that. With the international, like, the, the players that come from the international player pathway program... I don't know the answer to that. I'd have to look it up because I just don't know. That's a great question because I'm really not sure. You you can protect a couple guys every week, right? So I wonder if they get an extra protection for him. Dave said trainer protection and police dog slash dog sports. Okay. Okay. You really got messed up with dogs. Rasheed Rice is going to get the Ruggs treatment, right? No. Ruggs literally took the life of a lady and her dog. <clears throat> Ruggs is in prison for a long time. No. Now, Rice got blessed slash lucky. Nobody got seriously hurt because that could have happened. He was going 119 miles an hour four seconds before the crash. Mm-hmm. No, exactly. <clears throat> what on earth? 
I got a PayPal bomb. How do I view this? <laughs> I just got $20, I think, from my... Was that from you, FLDB? Can you check my Streamlabs? I need to see who that was. Because it's not, it's not populating here for some reason. Yeah, now I need to know. Because <clears throat> somebody dropped the 20 bomb. Oh, that was you, FLDB? Thank you, man. I was like, how does people have my Streamlabs link? Thanks for the 20 bomb for the birthday, man. It should show up, right? I hope so. Oh. I think the alert... The alert box is shut off. Whoops. <clears throat> TiVo, you're late to the party? All good. Nah, you're all good. We're just here hanging out, talking Chiefs. How many people came over for from the rugby to the NFL? <clears throat> there's been a few. I mean, there's been two others, like, off the top recently that I could think of that have. <clears throat> One's, um... Well, the left tackle of the Eagles used to play rugby, Was but was he a rugby star? Was he actively playing? That I'm not sure. Did you hear Britt Reed's sentence got commuted? Yeah. Uh, I think it's commuted. Com commutated? Commuted sounds right. It's not a pardon, but it's a shorten of a sentence by the governor. Yeah, I covered that in a video like a few weeks ago. So he's spending like the last 18 months or so on house arrest, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jordan Melata. That's who it is. Yes, sir. He went to Jalen Hurts' camp and he signed a football? Okay, that's fire. That's super fire. Go KC forever. Okay, I got you there. I got you there. Appreciate the 10 bomb again. Jeff with the 20. Thunder Cleese. Old man. Yeet. Marcus. Kelly. Kung Fu. Robert. Destiny with the 5. I'm still confused as to the count of serious bodily injury. They said no one was seriously hurt. So how is it serious bodily injury? Well, thanks for the 5, Destiny. I don't know if you saw my video from last night, but there was a lady... I think that might potentially be injured enough for that charge to go through. She's got stitches on her eye. It's affecting her. Like, there was just a report today. Where did I see that? Who did I text that to? I'm trying to think where it would be. But yeah, there was a somebody saying that they were pretty injured and it's affecting them right now. They had to get taken. It's the lady that had to get taken uh, to the hospital. Yeah. Um, Andrew with the five practice squad for LRZ. There we go. Now it's working. Practice squad for LRZ is basically a free spot on the roster. If he's good enough for the roster, then there's nothing to worry about anyway. Well, he's a free spot on the roster till the 53, so he doesn't count against the 90. But when you cut down to the 53, you don't get a 54th spot for an international person, but you do get a, a 17th on the practice squad. So somebody was asking, is he protected on the practice squad? I don't know. I seriously don't know the answer to that. But yeah, he doesn't count towards the 90 right now. So, fantastic. Sign him up. Let's go. Is Rice going to prison? Huh, I don't know. I don't think so. Jay, thank you, man. Happy birthday to uh, Cole. God bless you. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate the kind words and the birthday wishes. Yo, what's up, Trevor? Happy birthday. You have an Hope you have an amazing, incredible, and fantastic B-Day. Thank you, man. And hey, we're celebrating it tomorrow. Travis in the house. Buenos noches, Chiefs. I don't know what that is. Bubba's Chiefs friends. It's after 10 in uh, Pennsylvania, and I'm old. Hey, all good, Travis. I'm getting off here soon. Josh, thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff, what up, man? Shout out. Yeah, he won't go to prison. No, I don't think Rice is going to go to prison, man. Um, Could he get suspended? Sure. Could he be paying some hefty fines? Sure. Will he have diversion and maybe do community service and some other stuff? Sure. Now, if he would have took the life of somebody, that's a whole different situation. Thankfully, nobody got seriously hurt. Hey, 
Yeah, man. Heck yeah. Hopefully for this uh, next year. Gives you the good. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Jude. Hopefully we're aiming for a great, we're aiming for a great, uh, great year. 33, the 33rd year, I guess is how you'd word it. It's 818 in Albuquerque. Nice. I've been to, I've been to, I've been to New Mexico. Kenny, Princess, Kenny, Princess, Princess Kenny. Tyree Kill, catch the ball. Trent strips it. Yep. He housed it in the Dolphins game. You already know. Ba or Boondock said happy birthday from subscriber number 37. 13 seconds seems like forever ago now. 100%. Now we're at, I don't even know what we're at. 200 and something. 217,000 or something like that. Destiny said, I need my lawyer, YouTuber, Emily D. Baker, to go over Rashid's charges for me. Hey, hit her up and see if she will. Or maybe we'll bring her onto the channel if she studies Texas law. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. He's got a house it. Why on earth would you come here willingly? Oh, I don't know your time. Uh, to New Mexico. I I used to travel with the performance team, and we used to do like shows at um, middle schools and high schools, like school assemblies, and then we have like an, an evening show. So it's like a power, like a strength and powerlifting team. I did martial arts with them and uh, did some hip hop, hip hop music, beatboxing, stuff like that. Jason with the two. Thank you, man. Hey, happy birthday, Cole. What made you start YouTube? Keep it up. Thank you. Um, I mean, I've always kind of been aspiring to do something on YouTube for a living. Like, I thought that would have been awesome. Um, I just love YouTube. It taught me so much because I'm a visual and audio learner. So that's how I taught myself photography and videography is by um, watching YouTube videos. Love the platform. I used to stream on Twitch. So I'd stream like video games and put content out on YouTube for fun. I used to make music, put it on YouTube. I'd always been around, always really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, so I just decided to start a channel here covering Chiefs news for fun. I didn't think I would do this for a living. But uh, yeah, it started popping off a little bit and found some momentum, learned all along the way. And now we're here, still learning and growing, but that's kind of how it worked out. How did OJ Simpson die? I think he had cancer, right? Yeah, rest rest in peace to a very controversial guy. Beast on the field, but then you know about his personal life. Suspect at best. I don't know how old he was. <laughs> Marcus said, hey, Cole, serious question. Do you think they can ride the D? Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's so much that the identity of this team has shifted, but this is far and away the best defense that Patrick Mahomes has had, right? What? I mean, is it possible that they can ride the D? I, I... The defense? Okay. Listen, I, I, I believe. Jeez, man. Jeez. Suspect, literally, exactly. I don't know how he got away with it. She practiced law in LA, was district attorney for a while, now covers lawsuits on YouTube. She's awesome. Nate the lawyer, uncle of the Bailey and lawyer you know are all great for law coverage. Okay, dang. That's like its own thing. Like the YouTube law space, huh? Okay. We learning today. Colin, reference of Rice exceeding speeds of 100 plus. Is that street cam something that can be presented in court or eyewitness account speeds? I'm actually a bit confused how they know the exact speeds of these cars. I don't know if you can access, like, you're accessing some chip in these vehicles or what exactly you're accessing because they're like, Rasheed Rice hit a top speed of 119, 4.5 seconds before the wreck. The Corvette reached a speed of 116, but by the time of the wreck was going 91. How do you know that? Somebody tell me that's smarter than me. Because how do you know that? <laughs> Boondock, no. No 60-year-olds for a birthday, man. No, sir. Grassi is in Iceland from what I heard. Okay, that's fire. Well, it looks like he's in an awesome place. Mm-hmm. How many years do we have uh, Zama? When you say Zama, do you mean Zamet? Rezamet? Rezamet? He signed a three-year deal. All new cars can be tracked. Is it like a chip or something? 
It's got to be like a chip that you recover, right? In the car. If so, that makes sense. My car is so old. It's an 04 Honda Accord. I don't know if you could, if there's a chip in there. Maybe there is. Radars and cameras on the highways? I mean, maybe. Some people are saying chips. Yeah, he had a playbook in the car. Hippie. He had a Chiefs playbook. $16,500 check. They had some weed and a credit card. Mm-hmm. The rental car makes sense, Brian, like the new rental car. But how did they know about his Corvette? That wasn't a rental. They most likely have an OnStar subscription. Okay. Sneaky. Sneaky. Jamie, see ya. See ya. Bets have black boxes that saves a few minutes of data. Okay. Well, as somebody who's probably never going to have a vet, I did not know that. But yeah, he left a playbook in the car, sadly. Black box GPS data from the car's computer. Okay, so they both have that. The rental makes sense, but then, okay, vets have that in their car. That's interesting. Hey, we learned. We learned something new today. <laughs> Mandy. Oh, no, not weed. Let's ride. I mean, the only time I've ever, the only thing I've ever wanted when taking a gummy with special effects is food. That's it. That's it. Marcus, hey, Colin Mods, thank you uh, for doing all you do and bringing us the enjoyment you do. Thanks, man. Yeah, ha shout out to the, shout out to the mods. Heck yeah. A lot of cars since 2020 have them. That makes sense, Storm. I just drive an old car, so I'm like, I did not know that. Okay, it's common. Most cars have that now. I learned something new today because <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know about Law Tube. Didn't know about the black boxes in the cars. Grossy Posse calls those vitamins. Vitamins. Well, that makes sense. Special effects gummies. That's kind of a funny one, too. But vitamins, it's a little more low-key. Six games, suspension, large fine, write it down. No, Brian, I don't like that. Come on, man. Two to four, two to four. <laughs> God, it was a cracker heroin. Yeah, I mean, true. Mm hmm. Can you send poems you wrote? Sure. I'm a, for I'm a former poet, sort of, hip hop artist. Well, you, you didn't know Justin Mead has a 12-pound ball? No, but I know now because he runs a bowling alley. Brian said, I don't either. Don't want to get rid of my signed jersey. No, nah, dude. Please, no. At least a four-game suspension, says TLC. I was hoping just two to four. Hey, hot take trade. Kadarius Tony for Frank Clark. <laughs> I mean, Frank Clark's a free agent, so you could just sign him. Cole, who would you rather have, Jordan Love or Jalen Hurts? Ooh, man. I think, I think Jalen Hurts would ball out in the Chiefs offense with Andy Reid and his creativity. Probably roll with Jalen, even though Jordan Love has a smaller sample size, but he looked great last year. Yeah, he looked great. If you collect gold and silver, they have microchips in them as well. Are you serious? Okay, if you're serious, I'm getting rid of my gold. I actually have some. Not a lot, but some. Cole, yeah, I answered that. Yeah, I answered that. Jordan Love doesn't have the team that Hurts has. Well, that's fine if you want to roll with Jordan Love. I mean, I liked him last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was second in the league in passing touchdowns. Um, I mean, I I think the the Packers wide receiver core is just young. But they're talented. I mean, they got some dogs over there. Microchips and gold. What is going on with that? That's the first I've heard, even though I don't really research that. Troy. Oh, yo, Troy Bjorkland in the house. Troy Bjorkland, editor Troy. Happy birthday to the GOAT content creator. Let's go, man. Thank you, dude. Thanks for the kind words. 
Troy said, I sent you something in the mail. It's coming tomorrow. So I'm like, well, it's either coffee or a gag gift. So we'll see how it is. Yo, we got all the mods in answering. We got Flip, Brand, Jennifer, FLDB. Let's go. Stylesy, thank you so much. Thanks for the kind words. Yeah, editor Troy in the house, dude, he helped edit. He helps edit like everything now. So he helps my mental health too because I'm not staying up till 2 a.m. editing videos anymore. Is Clark concerned that Taylor will be on tour this season? And he needs to he needs to figure out a way to get her to cancel what, what he's got to do. Well, if you had to pick someone on our roster to guard Jamar Chase from a pass to win the AFC Championship, who would it be? I would have said... Um, I would have said Legarius Sneed, but he's gone. So Trent McDuffie? We'll go with that. Weston said Brandon Perna's coffee F the refs coming in the mail because he hates the Chiefs. Uh, Troy's a Vikings fan, so he doesn't really hate the Chiefs, but uh, that would actually be funny. Okay, never mind. Mandy bought tickets. Don't cancel the tour, please. Please don't. Taylor is making the, the dough. Dude, that's true. That's true, man. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out. I'm going to call it a day. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. It's 930. I'm going to enjoy the last like hour of my birthday before I go to bed. So appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. And uh, for all the uh, dono bombs, the birthday wishes, the encouraging words, the gifteds, the members, um, the mods holding it down. Caleb Mason, right before I got off here with the 20 bombs, said happy birthday, Cole. Thank you, man. Appreciate you guys. 33. 33. So it's going to be a good year. I'm excited for it. Um, I will say if there's any breaking news over the weekend, I'll go live and break it down. If not, we'll see you on Monday for a video. It'll be some draft content because the draft is right around the corner. So appreciate y'all. And until next time, let's go. Let's freaking go. How about go?